Alabaster, welcome to another council comments. We are joined today by our Ward 7 council member, Carrie Pate. I love when you're here, Carrie. We always have such a good time. Thank you. Now, okay, you told me you've got a big announcement. We're going to save it till the end. Which means you gotta you gotta stay till the end because this is a good one, right? Saving the best to last. Something we've been waiting on for quite a while. Well, let's just dive in and get started. Now, when Seth Gandy was here last week, he said that you guys had a really big work session where you kind of talked through goals for the coming year. Can you give us any kind of inside info you got from that yes, work session? We did, um, and I'll and I'll kind of start with saying this: um, people that come to our city council meetings, they they just see, you know, maybe 30 minutes, mm -hmm. but, and we say this all the time, our work sessions are conducted typically a week uh, or the week prior on a Thursday evening. And that is when we really hash things out. Um, some of the people that are coming from utilities or developers or upcoming business or yeah. whatever, yeah. they come and we ask the questions then, then so that when we go into the council meeting, we have a better understanding. You're fully prepared. Right. And, and sometimes we're there for three and four hours. Well, Council President um, Martin decided back after the first of the year that she really wanted us to have a, a day session. And that was going to be held on a Saturday, like you mentioned. And we got there one morning. We um, fortunately were able to use the library, the media center at the oh, high good, school. Yeah. And uh, we had breakfast and we were all able to be there um, five hours on a Saturday and just really talk about some issues that were important to our city. Um, and it was open to the public as well, okay. as they always are. But um, I had reached out previously um, to my constituents on Facebook and mm -hmm. through my council comments in the Alabaster newsletter that I wanted to know what really got their wheels turning when they thought about what they wanted to see in the future here in Alabaster. Of course, you know, if money were no object, we would right. we would have a, a much bigger um, uh, playing field. But most people wanted things like sidewalk connectivity, um, they wanted better trails, they wanted um, just quality of life type yeah. features, and of course restaurants. Yeah. So those were some of the things that I took back. We all collectively had fantastic things that we, uh, you know, we listed and um, there are things that we're actively working on. One of them um, is, um, we're, like I mentioned, was the trails and the sidewalk mm -hmm. connectivity within the schools. Um, and there is a the way to do that okay. and um, we are going to be applying for a grant um, through uh, the Regional Planning Commission and Apple okay. and uh, it is an 80-20 grant so we are prepared for our for our percentage mm -hmm. if we were to get it but it is a feasibility study on uh, the connectivity of our trails and sidewalks throughout the city and this would be huge um, this would be something that would help all of the residents that frequent Buck Creek tra Trail that would be able to access that all the way through the entire city. There's some, some untapped land that people don't even realize that we have. So we would be connecting mm -hmm. these trails. Right, okay. right. And that could also in turn bring um, big events to the city. Okay. Um, big races and runs and also with the schools um, it could, we could host the cross country meets, right. uh, larger ones um, with the miles that, you know, we would have the the length of the trails to support the right. miles. So this is huge for our city. It's huge for people like me that enjoy running and going yes. on different trails. Yeah. And uh, we wouldn't have to drive to do that anymore. So I'm excited about that and hopefully we'll receive that grant and we'll be able to get the ball rolling and we'll see that in the future. We'll definitely hear more on that. Um, definitely make it more family more family friendly, getting outdoors is always a good thing. So. And we will have stakeholders in the community. So we will be reaching out to people that like to go to the trails, um, cross country coaches, mm -hmm. whomever wants to be a part of those stakeholder meetings. And we'll reach out and let you know when that's available. Awesome. So. Well, we'll hear more about Thank that you. then for sure. Now, um, let's talk about, we've got three new hires within the city which is in the fire department, is that correct? Correct, so we have a new ladder truck that's going to be delivered, should be delivered next month. Okay. It's a big deal, it's gonna be housed yeah. at station three. Okay. And uh, we will have to backfill some positions so that we have three firefighters that are able to um, operate that ladder truck. Absolutely. So um, 
be looking for those job postings. As always, we always post on um, the city website, yep. and we're excited about that. Um, our first responders are our top of our list for funding and uh, it just improves our, our whole quality of life here in Alabaster. 100% very good. Um, now something that we want to talk about is our audit rating. Now this may seem a little bit boring to you but this is not boring. This is a really really good thing for our city right? It, it is. It so is. So tell us about it. We got the highest audit right. rating, right? Right. So um, we were presented with our audit rating um, a couple of weeks ago, and we did um, receive the highest um, possible rating for a city. And what that means to the residents is you can rest assured that our city is run properly and financially sound. Yeah. Um, we have adapted uh, fiscally conservative policies that have allowed us to be sitting in a really good situation. And um, that coupled with our department heads that believe in it, um, we're just in a really good place. So, so that is a good thing for us all, right? On, on that, continue to shop Alabaster first. Yes, 100%. Very good. Thank you. Now, we do have a free landfill day coming up for Shelby County. Is we, that correct? We do. It's on Saturday, March the 27th. Okay. And that's just something that the county does for um, everyone that lives in the county. So. Uh -huh. Uh, I believe it's at 8 a.m., but we'll we'll post those those times. Yeah, that you take can advantage of that for mm -hmm. sure. Now for our big announcement that we're super excited about. Okay, you you guys have been working on this for quite a while. Um, it specifically affects the people in your ward, so tell us about it. It does. Um, we have been working on it for over five years, um, and uh, it is a. I'm so, I'm so excited I can hardly announce it. Uh, there will be a light in the near future at the intersection of Kent Dairy and Highway 17. Yay. And we are so <laughs> excited. Um, there have been multiple accidents. Yeah. There have been traffic studies that the county and we have done. And we have collectively come up with a good partnership. And we are going to be able to expand the lanes there and uh, put a light up that is going to help us tremendously yes. um, with school traffic. It was just something, especially after the new high school moved to this mm -hmm. end of town with the back entrance being opening, yes. we had to do it. And I'm so glad that we're able to have this partnership with the county and have the funds av available. And you can see your tax dollars hard at work. There you um, go. So we're Keeping so us all safer yes. and making things run so much more yes. smoothly. So we, good job guys. Thank, Thank you, you I know for we're doing so excited. that. We're, we're so we excited. are very excited too, especially all of us that live over there for sure. Well, I appreciate you so much coming Thank on you. as always. You guys are working so hard and we are so we are. thankful. All right. We are. Well Thank guys, you. join us for another council comments next month right here brought to you by the city of Alabaster. Mm -hmm.